Hello guys, it's Crafty Fox, and welcome back to another Minecraft train tutorial video. So this time I'm going to be showing you how to build the British Rail Class 37. And it's a diesel electric locomotive, and on the Wikipedia page it's known as Tractors from Rail Enthusiasts. <laughs> and that's because it actually sounds like a tractor engine. Like, I watch a video on YouTube and it just sounds like a truck rather than a train. Like, that's the sound you would expect from a truck. But anyways, guys, I just want to make a British train. And I've it's been sitting in my yard for a while, so I just finished it right now. So uh, let's get started on this. All right, so first off, let's add the middle. So we're going to take a gray wall, just add that two blocks above the tracks in the middle, add pistons on either side, and then gray wall at the edge, then lever in the middle, pull it down, and then we have our buffers. So then we're going to take uh, gray wool again, just add uh, the middle three. And you want to make the middle part um, 28 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 14, 25, 26, 27, 28. And uh, let's make the same thing with the pistons. And the lever, pull it down, gray wool on the sides, and just fill in the middle three so that we have our nice oh, floor at the bottom. And uh, <laughs> sorry if you hear someone's hammering in the background it's outside my house, but oh well. So after we do that, uh, let's take a yellow hardened clay, just add this giant U shape in the front. And in these three middle blocks, just fill it in with black wool. And then let's take yellow again. Just add three on top of that. Then let's add yellow on the bottom of these pistons. And also, let's do that on the other side. So just make this giant uh, U like really stretched out, really wide. And fill it in with black wool. And also fill the top of the black wool with yellow and then add the yellow underneath the pistons so right here and uh, once we're done with that we're gonna actually take oak wood stairs and have them upside down in the bottom corners like that and also we need uh, another brick slab just add that in between the yellow and let's do the same thing on the other side the oak in there. All right, so then let's add the little <laughs> the little lights in the front. So we're just gonna take a button. Weird how it doesn't say it's a stone button. So we're just gonna place one out there next to the center. So we're not gonna fill in the middle. The middle one's gonna be kind of a bit lower like that. And I did see some models they had it on top, but the one I'm ma making it on. It has it on the bottom on both sides. So after we do that, uh, we're going to take uh, bedrock and just make a 2x2 two two right next to the front on the side. So like right here. Just do that. It should be the same on all four corners. And then we're going to add uh, this sort of, uh, what do you call this? <laughs> An edge. Sort of a rounded edge at the bottom with the stone brick stairs. We just go all the way across, uh, right adjacent to the floor. It actually, is part of the floor. So we're gonna continue that design, and it's pretty easy. So after we do that, let's take oak wood slab. Just add that to the uh, the top corners like that, and the side as well. And then let's take hoppers and there's going to be a uh, three axles per end so we're going to take a hopper and stone brick slab so we're going to go over here next to the edge could be either side it should be the same and we're going to skip one block and then two hoppers skip another block two hoppers skip another block and the last two hoppers just do that on both ends here and let's fill it in with a stone brick slab all right, so let's do that on the other end. Yeah, like that. 
And I know, I know, some people, they don't like my hoppers. I don't know, maybe in the future I might change it, but right now, I'm, like, it's the least of my concerns. I'm okay with how it looks like right now. Alright, so after we do the wheels, uh, let's actually add this thing at the bottom. We're going to use polish andesite and make a 3x3. Three three. Am I right? 3x3 three three in the middle? We're going to leave a block of space like that. So 3x3 three three should be on this side. Then we're going to fill in the middle part with stone brick slab. And then we're going to have 2x3 right here of polished andesite. So that's the bottom portion. And now let's take uh, cyan wool. And let's start actually making this. So we're going to take cyan wool. Add that to the hood on both ends. Right. And then we're going to add uh, five blocks wide right here after the hood. And just add two of them sticking out like that. So it looks like an upside down pi symbol. If you guys know algebra, I think that's algebra, right? All right, so once we're done with that, let's add the roof. So we're gonna take uh, cyan wool, just add that right above it, three blocks wide. And hmm, we're gonna actually continue this and we're gonna leave another gap right here. So the window kinda of goes upwards. So yeah, just fill in the rest with the cyan wool. Coming all the way back. My back is sore because it just worked out my back. <laughs> Alright, so after we do that, let's add the windows. So we're going to take uh, black stained glass or regular glass if you don't have it. And just add that uh, windshield in the front like this kind of does it like a little curve so that's why it looks like that let's do the same thing on this side and then let's take a scion uh, carpet just add that to the top window I want to cover that up and then we're going to take a uh, bedrock and we're going to skip uh, two blocks from this carpet and then make this plus sign with the bedrock and it's just going to be a vent on top uh, in reality, it's a circular vent, but it's Minecraft, so we gotta do what we have. So next, let's take cyan wool, and uh, let's fill in this part so it looks like we're just gonna surround a dot in the middle, which is the quartz. So like, kind of make like this O shape, and just fill it in with the quartz block and I believe it should be the same on both sides yeah it is alright that's good so let's do the same thing make the O and fill it in fill in the donut with the munchkin which is the quartz and after we do that let's add a stone brick stairs right here upside down like a soul alright then we're gonna go to the other end and this time we're gonna make the donut, but not really. Just filling it in completely. So we have like this nice three by three right here. Uh, the dots are just for detailing of the logo. Then let's add our upside down stairs. And above the stairs, we're gonna add light gray wool. And above the light gray wool, let's take an iron door. And just place it like that. So there's like four win four doors. <clears throat> so after we do that, let's take uh, the sign wall again. Just add one here. Uh, we're gonna leave this gap for. Oh man, I don't have it. So let's get a black stained glass pane right there, right next to uh, the front front windshield. And let's add the pillar of Scion. Alright, so once we do that, let's actually fill in the bottom layer. It should be all Scion. Scion will all the way across. Which is great. Do the other side. 
And then we're going to have to add this 2x2 two two of bedrock. This is the part where we're going to do a lot of detailing. So once we got that 2x2 two two of bedrock, both sides, uh, let's, uh, let's add a perimeter of uh, the wool, the cyan wool. And let's make another donut. But this time in the middle, we're going to put uh, black stained glass. So like that, donut. All right, next is uh, this upside down L shape of bedrock. So upside down L, it looks like a pretty small L. And then we're gonna take uh, another brick, uh, just another brick block, solid one. Just place that right here and then add scion. And we're gonna have four of these nether brick blocks on each side. So just repeat the pattern till we reach the door. And usually I don't use solid blocks for another brick, but now I will use them because I wanted to make it different. Uh, there's two vents here, and then if I make them both the same, it's gonna like kind of mesh together. I wanted to make it a little contrast right there. All right, so after we do that, let's fill this in with uh, Scion right here, pillar, then a little window with the black stained glass, and underneath it, a bedrock vent. And then a 2x2 two two here with the scion. And the bottom, it should be block of quartz right there. And let's fill in the rest with the scion wool. All right, once we do that, let's add these little things on top. Little detail. Gonna use a gray carpet. And we're gonna line it with this one right here, uh, this bedrock and just have that on each end like that. All right, so the next thing and we're gonna do is take uh, stone brick slab, just add that right here, right there on top of the two by two vent. Same thing on the other side. And then let's take uh, iron bars and we're gonna add a little railing uh, to hold on alongside the door just have it two blocks tall and also do it here it's okay if it's on that vent because there's really not that much room to place it in but it makes for nice detailing so once we're done with that uh, let's actually finish this off with the stone brick slab just have that uh, really align with this uh, top roof of the sign wall so it should look like that. Do this side as well. And I just realized something. I'm not sure if it's entirely accurate. Uh... All right, so once we do that, that should be pretty much it on how to build the British Rail Class 37. I hope you guys enjoy this video and now you know how to build it. Uh, if you guys like the video, please hit that like button below. And if you haven't already, Please subscribe because I will be uploading more videos in the future. And I have a lot of <laughs> trains to go. But anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.